Good afternoon. So glad that Hunter Chillin' the day here with we for this year 14th episode of Zooming In on Sustainability. I'm so glad that Hunter have been here with me all these year two months and we've been to take this year journey. All kind of different things we done crack, we teeth about. All kind of things done been going on while we the day in the midst of pandemic. Right now, Hunter Chillin, so much a thing that happened all through the world and thing like that. That I decide this should be for change up a little bit and going out and send energy out through this year broadcast into the atmosphere for healing, for blessing, for safety. Cause we got forest fire the deep on the west coast. We got a massive hurricane that kind in the Gulf Coast, right behind one tropical storm. What we did it just the other day. And we got all of these your things, what are going on right now around the world with people of protest for your rights and things like that. But protesting, there's something sometimes we have to do and things like that because you won't be authentically you. So that's what we're going to crack we teeth up today. But first, let me do a prayer for safety for all the people what did harm's way this your day? Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Well, this year the queen quit head from the body of the Gullah Geechee Nation, and I'm so glad that Hunter to take this your time for joining me for zooming in on sustainability. And I'm so glad for having the next guest here with me today and thing like that it because it's something we always the crack we teeth about that we understand why in the world today if i start up something hunter don't go start up something with god sent hunter for do. you see me to do this show you try for do them too what is if hunter would pray meditate center focus hunter would get it from god what hunter god what god want hunter for do and send Hunter me here, and send Hunter too, but do the same thing. So a lot of people don't grasp that in the world, as huge as it is with all of us on this planet, that God sent here at the same time, that God did not send us here to replicate one another, only with production, all right, of your children is that the replication process. It is not about you looking at what someone else does and say, well, oh, because that individual is doing that. Let me do that. Let me try to replicate what they are doing. You might end up attempting to do something similar, but you'll never fully replicate what that person is doing. Now, you should strive, if it's in the same genre, to do something that is authentically purposed for you to do. But I get it that a lot of people don't really know why they're here. So they don't have a vision. They don't have the overstanding, as I would say, to really figure out in this vast universe, what is it that is coming in through the spirit to themselves to say, you do this thing, because this is what is within you. This is what your cells have been created to manifest into the world. So a lot of times, especially now, due to social media, people look at something and mimic. And if they're Western world mindset people, they think that that means go into that field to be the competition for the individual, or let's unseat that company, let's unseat that individual. Trust me, everyone who has been extremely successful Everyone who is faith-based in any way will let you know that which ye sow, ye shall also reap. So if your intent of the heart is to only do something because you want to think you can outdo another person, woe unto you. If you want to do something because you want to take down somebody else or their business, woe unto you because that means you're not authentic. 
that means that this other person was first in the door or first down the road doing what they're doing. They're always going to be first. You can never get at that position. All you can do is attempt to mimic and like some people do with people's patents and trademarks, alter it a little bit and try to make it look like it's yours. Now you might market it, you might tweet it, you might TikTok it, you might do all kinds of stuff to get a lot of attention on you for a split few minutes. It might be viral, but viruses are a problem, aren't they? Viruses can make you ill. Viruses can make you sick. Viruses are things that people work to actually eliminate. So how long can a virus last in a healthy body? In a healthy body, you're not thinking about competing with what's external and who's external. In a healthy mind, you're not thinking about taking anybody down or taking down anybody's businesses. The energy we are sending out into the universe is creating the circumstances we're living in. And that's why today it is a blessing to actually have this opportunity to have this discussion about living authentically in the midst of all that's going on in the world. Because if we start to authentically love, authentically give, authentically create, the space is open for you. Because all of us have gifts that we've been given but how are you using yours? Are you using it at all? Or will that gift eventually be taken from you and passed on to somebody else who was true, who was authentic, who was honest, who was loyal, who was devoted, who could cheer on other people and say, let's uplift one another. More upliftment in the world is what's needed right now. And I know some of you might have tuned in because you said that's exactly why I tuned in because I'm trying to figure out how to live my life authentically. Folk keep coming at me, stuff keep coming at me. What do I do in this moment? I need something to lift me. And I'm so happy for all of you who've been on this two month journey. When we started off telling you, sometimes you just gotta breathe. Breathe for yourself. Breathe for those ancestors who can't breathe anymore. Breathe for the children yet to be born. That's what we always want to hear, the baby hollering, because we know that baby is breathing. And when we come in as babes, we have the opportunity, we have the potential to be so many things. And somewhere along the way, we get trained into not necessarily being authentic. Well, it's time to retrain ourselves. They say in 21 days, you can train yourself. You can reset your mind. You can reset your body to do something different. So let's put away one of your faces if you had to, okay? And we go tell on it to what I can do. And if you say, yeah, I'm here to get uplifted, great. Because I have somebody with me who has worked as a life coach, who started a program that we're partnering all on, the Vision Warriors, and y'all be hearing more about that as the year goes on. And she's written several books and now launched just a little something, something. I knew to this show it had them. So I go on and get my thing the other day because it done launched this show thing called Authentically Your Expressions. And I'm so glad if I have her the other day for expressing on self. How on the do, Sharonda? Glad if I see her the other Sharonda Goodwine Box there. What going on? Clean, what's going on? Thank you for having me. I've been looking forward to this, your gal. I've been so glad he that you're going to join me since we can't sit in the yard and sip no sweet tea or nothing. I said, I have to do this, your thing virtually. Do it virtually. virtually. <laughs> Thank God for that. So Thank now, so let me talk a little bit about first, I know over the years and thing like that, you start off with something that a lot of people need right now, yes. life coaching. Yes. So tell us, first and foremost, what took you on a journey of life coaching? 
And then why pick a topic called authentically your expression? <laughs> why that? Why now? Right. Well, truly, I went into life coaching. And thank you, everyone, for having me here. I feel very blessed and honored. But um, I went into life coaching because, especially in our community, people kind of run away from the whole notion of psychology and mm -hmm. therapy and things like that. It's a little intimidating to us sometimes. We don't want to them to go shrink our head. You know, they don't want to have that. Yeah, look, yeah, yeah, I don't have no shrunken head. So then that's trying to take me the type of voodoo and thing, gal. Yeah, then that's why we don't like, mm-mm, you -mm, want no head shrinking. Mm -hmm. The Gucci's, I know. Okay. So, so I knew that, especially as a African-American woman, I'd be able to draw more people, more of my people this way than going into the um, psychology background. So that's where I was led to go into um, life coaching. And I knew it was a space, especially for me, I need things that are practical. I need to be able to put my feet on the pavement and show me how to make this work in my life. Don't just tell me how I should think or feel. How does that show up? And as a life coach, that's what we do. We are able to give you more practical steps in order to make things fit your life a little bit better. So you can actually practice this thing. So you can make it work throughout that one week. I meet with you this week. I give you something to do. You work on it that whole week. Come back the next week. You're like, oh, this is how I do that. This is what showed up this week when I thought about this. Or I practiced this. Or I did that meditation you showed me. Those particular things. So um, that's why I went into life coaching authenticity authentically your expressions came about because i wanted to inspire people to live their most authentic life which means becoming your truest self who are you really so many people are really looking for that space of who am i what is it that i want to do we spend our 20s you know having fun doing all those things enjoying making the mistakes that we make then all of a sudden a lot of us hit in our 30s and then we're like who am i what did I want to do? I want to have family. Do I not want to have a family? We're trying to discover those things. And some people, they do it the opposite way. They're not doing what they want to do. And unfortunately, so, some people are also in that point saying, do I need to get away from my family? Do I need to get away from my family? Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. So authentically, your expressions has the opportunity to give you that space to be yourself. Mm -hmm. How do I start? Right, that right. Like? So that's what basically yeah. your expressions is for, to just give you an opportunity to press that reset button, start all over, and make sure you're living your most authentic life. Yeah, this is wonderful. This is wonderful because, you know, all of what you said, everybody who's tuned in today and the folks that are watching this on Gullah Geechee TV and even those who are here participating with us live y'all will have that opportunity if you follow Gullah Geechee TV go mm -hmm. ahead and subscribe it's free you'll be able to review this because sometimes that's what it takes I, I think you would agree with me Sharonda that we have to review our lives sometimes mm -hmm. you know and if we take the time a lot you know I love to journal Right. And so I have I have whole shelves now. I have a whole closet that's full of journals now from over the course of my life that I said, well, when I'm dead and gone, the family can publish this stuff, you know, because I name names <laughs> and that kind of thing. And so here it is that with journaling, that gives you the opportunity to be authentic. Because yeah. you're talking to God and yourself. When you journal, you just write it all down. Stream of consciousness. You can write if you're happy. You can write if you're sad. You can write if you're upset. You can also, though, write something. That is why you and I are partnering up on this. Yes. Write down the vision. Write the vision and make it plain. Yes. How do you feel people should go about visioning? the yeah. life they want because like you said if i reach this age some you say it's 30. Yeah. some people reach it before that yeah. like i was that early you know early bloomer they said yeah. i was born as an old person so that's probably what the issue is but yeah. i'm saying there are also people that it's way later they're still partying they on that you know they're on that eddie murphy my girl wants to party all the time party all the time at 65. Right. so it's not until then that they go oh yeah. Um, oh, wait a minute. I need to, I, I got to. grand churn. They grand churn telling them like, uh, grandma and grandpa, could y'all like help us? Like y'all can't keep going to the club, you know? And so they might be in that age bracket and say, well, wow, I 
do need to kind of figure out where should I be going now? And now in the midst of a pandemic, I'm sure it's even more people just thinking that at all ages, where do I go? So that means you have to have a vision for where you want to go, yeah. right? So mm -hmm. how would you tell some of your clients and sisters, especially that you encounter, how to go about getting there, about writing the vision and making it plain? I'm glad you asked that. You know, I have several programs that I work with people in terms of helping them become more authentic, living their most authentic life. But my baby is my program called Living Your Vision. And mm -hmm. so that particular program is very specified. And when somebody's coming to me and they're saying, I know I have a direction that I want to go in. I know I see something in my mind. I know where I want to go, but I don't know how to get there. But we start off with a vision board. That's the very first thing that I do with every single person in that program is I have them sit down and create a vision board. I tend to do mine digital, digitally, digitally. How do you say that? Yeah, digitally. <laughs> I know we say it so much now, virtually, digitally. You start right. getting tongue-tied right with all this rhyming. Yes. Yeah, so I'll create like a PowerPoint or mm -hmm. I'll do a photo grid and I'll find some pictures that I find on Google Images. Mm -hmm. And however that vision shows up in my head, I go and look through the pictures to see if something just comes close to what that is and then put it together in a collage. Mm -hmm. And then that way I can save it as my screensaver on my laptop. Every right. time I open my laptop, I see my vision board. I'll save it on my phone. Right. And, and when you complete one of your visions, you can switch that picture out, take that one out. Exactly. You know? Yeah. But yeah. people still do the old school, get them up, post a board, cut out pictures from magazines and things like that. And then that's how they create their vision board. But it and allows you to thing, see it. Yeah. One of the things just before you say what it allows you to see is if someone does the what you call old school version of cutting out the things from mm -hmm. magazines and even maybe something in a photo album that oh. you just didn't, you didn't achieve it. You saw it somewhere, maybe on a trip, mm -hmm. you took a picture and you have a photo. You can put those things on the wall and take a picture of that. Of it. That mm -hmm. can be your collage. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, Sharonda. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So that gives you a, a physical visual representation of what's in here because we want to write the vision and make it plain. We want to see that thing in front of us. And that's similar to what journaling is. You're writing it down, you're getting it out. And that helps express yourself in a way that you can see it now in front of me. And you know, I always tease people when I say, that's how commercials get our attention. Right. They, they play right. off of our vision. They, right. they put a big old juicy hamburger. Let me see if I can make them want a hamburger. It's so a subliminal suggestion. The subliminal suggestion. suggestion. Right. Yes. So, and so we have to realize that's a seed that they're planting that yep. even if you were vegetarian now you want to eat a hamburger right so yeah. that's why now they've made the vegetarian, vegetarian look like real meat right and then, but then we have to know that that vision that you're talking about is starting to visualize it even physically yes. through these means you're mentioning plant yes. the seed inside too so we do our own subliminal suggestion yeah, yeah. exactly and it, and that's what it does it makes you want to pursue something the more you see it the more real it becomes like one of the things on my vision board is du dubai just a bunch of different little scenery well, I'm, going, I'm going with you thank you Ooh, oh we going that trip honey because i haven't got there yet thank you we are yeah. going. <laughs> so therefore i put that on there so that on a regular basis it's right here in the front of my mind versus in the back of my mind and that way my actions now can start aligning with the vision yeah. And that's the whole point of creating a vision board. And to be most authentic is because a lot of people talk a good game. Oh, yeah, I want to do this. Yeah, I'm thinking about traveling here. I'm going to start this business. Okay, now you can create a vision board. You took a, another step. Mm -hmm. There's something visually in front of you now. Now you've got to start aligning yourself with what you said you want to be. Or what Absolutely. direction you're going in. So that's the whole idea behind the vision board is to inspire you to begin to take active steps in going towards it, going to starting to research how to start a business in my state, um, finding how much those tickets are to Dubai, <laughs> going ahead and establishing whatever I want to have a baby. Well, I need to go ahead and start building up a savings account. Whatever it is that people are seeing, this vision board is to inspire you to begin the action steps and not just keep thinking about it or talking about it. Now we're going to start doing it. And that's the point is the doing it. Because again, when you even mentioned Googling to find out what the ticket is, you can Google it, 
You can find it out. You can buy it. If you don't have a passport, you ain't going nowhere. No. Passport. And then, right, then you may need a visa. Then mm -hmm. you may need the shots to go with the trip yeah. and all of these things. So, so it's good to have the vision. Yes. Write the vision, make it plain make a checklist of how to achieve the vision but sometimes you also want to have that support there yeah. so that there's accountability for how are you achieving the vision and yeah. if you left something out because like i'm saying you could have left out a step i remember someone who now i consider she's she's getting to be very successful in yeah. the singing arena who's a relative of ours mm -hmm. that also said to me she wanted to start to travel. She'd seen me traveling, I mean, since she was a little girl. She wanted to start traveling because she had never left the United States. Mm -hmm. And we had a lunch and we sat down and I said, well, what's your vision? You want to travel for what reason? Right. Because she could have wanted to go as a tourist or she wanted to go as a singer. She wanted to go as a singer. Well, great. Well, I said, well, let's talk. We talked, we ordered our food, we had sweet tea, we all of that. And we were in about 20 minutes into this dialogue you know, because we got to do all the how to family first. That's the first 10 minutes. Of course. Then we, about 20 minutes into this dialogue, I ordered, I think I got my sweet tea refreshed. And then I said, well, you know, this is wonderful. You you know where you want to go. You have a passport. And she went, I said, well, darling, we're going to start there. Because mm -hmm. until we got money and we got the passport form and we yeah. already done put that in the mail, yes. we ain't leaving nowhere. No, no. All right. So we got to do that. So, so again, it's good to have people that you trust That's right. that are willing to actually share the vision with you and then hold you accountable to the vision. That's right. That, yeah. So that's one of the things that I take it that as a life coach, you also help people to do, is it not? That's absolutely what I am. I am an accountability partner for you. Not only am I a coach, because I'm on the sidelines. I'm not playing the game. I'm not out here running. I'm on the side sideline coaching yeah. you to be able to meet the goal in order right. to touch down, in order to whatever our goal is. That's what I'm here for. I have a wonderful client right now who is working on starting a nonprofit organization. I'm not doing the work for her. She's doing amazing work. She's doing her research. I'm just here to coach her along when she has questions, and I'm here to encourage her to stay on task. And I love that space. That's what I do. Whenever people come to me about what it is that they see in their life, now we work on what it is that you want to go, what direction you want to go into, but we also look at the hindrances. Yeah. Your personal blockages, your personal fears. What is it that makes you believe that you can't have this particular thing? What mm -hmm. is it that's going to keep you, catapult you into going in the right direction? What do we need to discard? You know, those type of things so that you can go forward. Because I think that's even a bigger problem. People get to a point, okay, I see it. I yeah. know what it is that I want. I know where I want to go. And then they still won't take that extra step to start making it happen. Right. So now let's talk about what, what's going on. Right, exactly. And, and you know, sometimes what's going on is the circle of person keeps. Absolutely. Because that circle don't want you to leave out of there. Mm -hmm. They want to stay sitting here. So right. they want you to stay sitting there with them. They right. don't want you to get up, then start walking no place because mm -hmm. they don't want to walk no place. So right. how dare you leave? So, you know, people can say crabs in a barrel, you know, mm -hmm. crabs in a basket, crabs in a barrel, different cultures say either one, all of that. We can say that, but that's not it. Right. It has to be about you, though. What's inside you? What's yeah. your motivation? Because yep. you wake up with you before you get around anybody yeah. else. So now, are you waking up with some water that you're dropping on that seed that was subliminal no. planted? No. Or are you in there with something pulling it out like it's a weed? What you doing? In right. here. In right. here. Yeah. And see, Queen, you know, a lot of people will say, well, that's something I could do on my own. I don't need a life coach. Well, then maybe I'm not for you. But there are people who certainly need someone to cheer them on. They don't have the people in their circle or they just need an unbiased opinion. Sometimes the people in your circle don't believe you're going to get it done. And the more that they tell you that, the more you're probably not going to get it done. Yeah, because that becomes a seed planted in your mind. Then if you start repeating what they say, now it becomes self-fulfilling prophecy. And so a lot of times we, especially with women, pull back from things because there might be a dude in our lives that's telling us, well, you know, without me, you ain't going to get nowhere. So now 
you were all day with your girls who were like, girl, do that thing. You girl, do it. Yes. Right. And then you get this one voice and now it echoes and it echoes and it echoes. Well, you have to now shift yourself out of that. You have to now have these positive things that's going to put you back in the right centered space. And that visioning is part of that. Mm -hmm. I know Steve Harvey mentioned he would wear his vision on, it seemed like on the cuff of his pants or the bottom of his shoe, because as men, they cross their legs in such yeah. a way that then he'd look down and that would, that would keep that right in front of yeah. him. So one of the things like you mentioned, keeping it on your desktop, mm -hmm. having it on your um, computer so that you can see it right there. People can put it on their iPad. I have mine on my iPad. Yes. And then also what I did because I'm that old school person is I like paper. So yes. I also printed mine yes. and then I have it not only on my wall, but also on my desk where nice. I work nice. and I carry it with me in my journal or in a book I'm reading. Yeah. So I used it as the bookmark. The bookmark. Mm -hmm. So that then whenever I go to pull back somebody yeah. else's book that I'm reading, it's like, oh, yeah. wait a minute. But you got this to do. <laughs> Other than reading this book, you got this to do. Yeah. And and you constantly see it. You constantly then have it in front of you. Some people put it on their mirrors. I mentioned on the show yep. before, if anybody watched Being Mary Jane, I used Mary to like Jane. that show. She had post-it notes all over the place, mm -hmm. all over her beautiful home and on her mirrors and on her glass sliding mm -hmm. door going to the pool because these were reminders of the steps yep. that she needed to take and the positive affirmations yes. that she needed in her life to keep that vision going. The absolutely mm -hmm. and to keep her success going and so it's wonderful to see your success yes. continuing to go because yes. i've seen the different things i've seen the different yes. manifestations from the jewelry mm -hmm. you know um before and now seeing this launch of yes. authentically your expressions being not just something that someone would say is a service business right in terms of life coaching, but right. now something that we physically can hold on to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because adornment makes you feel, as I'm trying to say, some kind of way <laughs> too, all right? And it can express your authenticity. Your a authenticity. lot of people, and you know, you know I give a lot of people the side eye. <laughs> they say, oh, Queen, I want that that you're wearing. Where you get it from? It was made for me. Okay. Well, Queen, where you get this one? I designed this, so there's not another one. You know, and people, oh man, that's messed up because I would want the same thing. And that's what I don't <laughs> want is you to have the same thing because this was for me, right? And right. so it's like, because this is my particular authentic style of right. dress and mm -hmm. adornment. So I don't expect other people to duplicate that. Now, right. if you go ahead and find something that you like, I'm glad, I'm glad. Right. I really appreciate the compliments, but I'd like you to get something that fits you though. So I saw when I went on there, my little thing right here, I was like, oh, this one is for me. Go ahead. I know Sharonda made this just for me. It's authentically mine. All right. With my cowrie shells, the richness, the prosperity, the wealth, the growth. So I've seen you envision these things. Now see the manifestation. So what is it that people can people go to your website and what is your website can they go there and actually get life coaching and also obtain the adornment what i call the adornment collection the jewelry and what about your books as well when you're doing authentically you're doing things authentically but you're virtually sometimes you know income murphy all right we told y'all about the tongue twisters right but sharonda now you back it, with your website, can people go on there and actually contact you for life coaching as well as get some of the adornments? Absolutely. The so what yeah. is your website? My website is www.authenticallyyourexpressions.com. You know, again, there's a space that you can click on services so you can find out what our actual services are. Then you can click on the jewelry store and you can go do some shopping to express yourself authentically. Exactly. And I think it's so wonderful that you have so many different pieces and a wide array, everything from yes. rings to necklaces and earrings and all of that, that you know how we are. You know, ladies, we'll okay. shop in a minute. And, and especially some people sitting up, there we go. <laughs> so <laughs> put, your, put your fingers up closer so they can really see you wrong. See, this is my true life ring. Yes, I got I the necklace. That. 
Yeah. I got the necklace and I know one of your big fans on, on Facebook games mm -hmm. on hand, she had already <laughs> snatched up one of the rings before I even saw the rings. I was like, yes. oh, oh girl, you know, yeah. because here in the Gullah Geechee Nation, most of y'all know that at the center of our tree, yes. our center of our flag is a tree. So <laughs> to see a tree, we all like, yes, yes. That uh, one. Yeah, the tree of I just life. got a new shipment in. I'm about to put them on the website too. Oh, I'll make excellent. sure I get you one. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, so that I can match up, honey, because mm -hmm. you know me, I'm also that girl. Let's love the matching, right? And that, yeah. Yeah. And so now when we talk about the adornment and being a life coach, you know, a lot of life coaches, they just do books or they do right. journals. What made you decide to go the route of doing jewelry with life coaching? You know, for me, I love, there's something expressive about it. Prior to me starting this website, you know, I'm the Minister of Dormant for the Gullah Geechee Nation. And yeah. so I, I've been creating jewelry by hand, making stuff by hand. And that to me was expressive to authentic jewelry, just one piece that every single person that I made it for, they only had that one of a kind piece. So for me, initially it was just that putting it out there somebody's out there they have that one thing they get to express themselves in that mo the most authentic way with that one piece of jewelry and plus it makes you feel like you you get to decide how you're going to decorate yourself for me I, you know you my auntie so i'm sure i got it was inspired with the bracelets thing for you i'm sure it was my mother wears bangles about. too i have i have no so idea that's part of what, what it was for me about. i guess the <laughs> adornment Yes, yes. It's beautiful. Because also one of the things that you know, you know, because you have traveled with me many places and the Gullah Connection, everything, you know, folks are trying for teeth and jewelry and thing like that. All right. So here it is that with what you presented to them, it's wonderful because it comes from the Gullah Geechee Nation, it's inspired, and there's meaning behind each and every piece. And so as a life coach, and then also being a minister of adornment, how do you help your folks to realize that the symbols that they wear, the symbols that are in their homes, the symbols that their children see and ingest through their eyes, all right, also matter in terms of carrying out the vision that they want and planting seeds once again in the spirits of them and how does that manifest itself in many different ways? I know that we've had a lot of different conversations about people asking different kinds of questions. And I know over the years, a lot of people are always interested in my cowries and the fact that I wear cowries, people wanna know about the onk, what it means, and just like with the tree, it's a tree of life and how that expresses itself in our lives. And so a lot of people who are unaware of African traditions and culture, or who haven't yet fully, they're born black, but not into African tradition, may not realize how important it is to realize the meaning behind the things that we adorn ourselves with, the meaning that behind what we adorn our homes with, and the meaning that these things carry and the energies that these things carry. So I know that in the midst of a lot of this work, not only life coaching, but creating pieces of adornment, you have to come in contact with different things that carry different energies and that carry different power. And so a lot of people I know that are listening in, that are watching, you all probably often wonder, you see all of us adorned even in different colors during different ceremonies, or if you visited the Gullah Geechee Nation from Jacksonville, North Carolina to Jacksonville, Florida, or we'd have to stay right here upon this uh, thing they call it low country and sea islands, a thing like that, that you feel a different energy when you get here. And some of that energy is Southern hospitality, right? But a lot of that is the energy given off by the people. And you'll see us adorn different ways at different times. And some people will come here expecting everybody because certain films have push that as if every ritual you dress in white that's not every ritual and it's not every day that you walk around wearing white especially living on a sea island when you're agrarian people and so again the energies are attached within certain colors as well and again patterns and color schemes combined bring different energies so even cloth carries its own energy 
So then the jewelry we put on top of that, the hairstyles, the way we wrap and what direction, all these things are part of being authentic and authentic to our community, authentic to our Africanness, authentic to our culture. And so it's really interesting and it's wonderful to have this opportunity to talk about this and why these energies are carried. And again, not unusual to me. When we have a lot of power in one space, sometimes things can shut down. I see that Sharonda has disappeared from the screen briefly. Sharonda, can you still hear us? Nope, she, she's disappeared from the screen briefly. So until she comes back on, um, here she is now. So Sharonda, I noticed that you disappeared from the screen briefly and I was saying to our audience that I know we have a lot of power in one space. We tend to shut things down a lot of times. But let's talk about the power in planting seeds based on what you adorn yourself in and with and what type of energies you also work with, with crystals and items in terms of life coaching, but also adornment. And yeah. tell people about how those colors and those energies could make a difference in terms of what impacts they have on that individual, but yeah. also that whole household by bringing certain yeah. things in there. Yes. Yeah. Please forgive me. I was on a four hour Zoom last night and didn't have these type of problems, but there's a storm in the area. So you would think your technology would have gotten us past this, but there's a storm. So please forgive me. Well, you know what? You're probably getting some of the swalls right now from the, the storm that the now storm. is, uh, as before this show, was a category four hurricane. Really? That's coming into the Gulf, yes. So in Atlanta, y'all are probably already yeah. in the middle parts of Georgia getting swalls like yep. yesterday on the Sea Islands, we got swalls okay. from the storm yeah. prior to this one. So, <laughs> so between Marco and Laura, mm -hmm. they've been splashing us and hitting us and yeah. spinning out pieces and so that's probably what's going on so that's I'm why sure. again today y'all this show is so important and so powerful because yes. you know even who's behind the board sister kaylee and i were talking before the show began about the energy and the power and i said to her we have the energy and the positive power we can pray back these storms we can pray it away and so we just need more powerful energy about positivity out here in the world and we can bring about what we need so yes. definitely when well, you're talking about this and 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 getting hit with it sometimes it's our power in the room though that <laughs> causes the system to overload it's like okay, i'm hey, telling you, you <laughs> hey, i'm like that's okay we're gonna get it in somebody must need to hear this that's why i'm getting kicked out of here somebody there trying to <laughs> that's right but just like for example this is tiger's eye this particular mm -hmm. ring is called Tiger's Eye, that stone. Mm -hmm. And what it does is it promotes you to be more courageous, more bold. Mm -hmm. And see, that's something that I need, especially when it comes to doing lives. I've never been a fan of being on camera. You know, I'd rather be hiding somewhere in the back. But for my work, right now with COVID going on, we need to be doing something. So in order for me to still be in front of people, I have to do the live. So I wear my Tiger's Eye so I feel a little more bold, so I can you know, absorb that energy so I can continue going. And again, that's something that influences my family. If my children see me being bold, they're willing to take more bold steps. Oh, look at what mommy's doing. I could do this too. My son's doing virtual school right now. So now he knows how to sit in front of his camera and watch his friends and watch the teacher and be able to be focused because he knows that's what mommy's in her room doing too. So that's one of those things that, you know, it, it helps all the way around. Mm -hmm. Rose Quartz. Rose Quartz is one of those um, stones that I also have that promotes self-love. Mm -hmm. we need, you never have enough of that. I always tell people you should be loving on yourself first anyway, because when your cup is full, now you can fill up everybody else's cup. When you pour it out to everybody else, you have nothing left for you. And don't they always say, save yourself first, put your mask on first on the airplane? You got to put your mask on, then we can work on everybody else. So Rose Quartz is one of those things that promotes love, self-love, just all kinds of healthy love. And so that's another one of the rings that I have. Um, all of them have these different meanings. I have a green tourmaline, green, no, that's not tourmaline, adventurine, that's what it's called. Green adventurine ring that promotes wealth. You know I got one of those too, right? I'm gonna need about <laughs> four or five of those right quick. I'm gonna just replace everything on here. 
Yes. yes. <laughs> to keep you, just keep you money minded, keep you focused on wealth and not even just wealth in terms of money, wealth of time, wealth right. of energy, a wealth of everything. So wealth those types of spirit. Yeah. Yes. Wealth of spirit. Yeah. Wealth, wealth of spirit. Absolutely. So when we adorn ourselves with particular things like that, it promotes a thought process of almost like a, a vision board. You have something visually in front of you to say, okay. This is what this is supposed to promote. In front of me, I see, I keep looking at my ring. I keep seeing this thing. Let me continue to be bold. Let me continue to do the work I need to do to be wealthy. Let me continue to do whatever it is I need in order to get the d- direction I'm going in. So that's what a lot of this jewelry is for, to promote those things. And we feel beautiful. I love wearing, I love wearing my earrings. I love earrings. I, if I leave the house without my earrings, I, I'm just like, Panic. I'm like, okay, we got to stop somewhere so I can get earrings. I have stopped at the store <laughs> to get earrings. More earrings? Wow. Yes, I have. Because they just make me feel, I love my face. I just yeah. love seeing myself with earrings on. And yeah. it makes me feel good. And that's what I want this jewelry to be, to express for everyone. What is it that makes you feel good? Making yeah. your hands, adoring your hands. Is that it for you? Your wrist? Right. The, your, you know, whatever it is. Your whole person. Yeah. Your whole person. Your whole person. And that's why it's called jewelry and apparel, because we're going to be branching out into the clothing stuff, too, the, the yoga pants and really cute tops and things like that that's going to help people just express themselves the most authentic way they can. And I'm so glad you mentioned that, because mm-hmm. right after this broadcast, if y'all follow us on Gullah Geechee Nation on Facebook, you follow at Gullah Geechee on Twitter and Instagram, mm-hmm. and Hunter Chillin, what is follow the store at gullahgeechee.biz. That's another collabo we got. We have our Proudly Authentically Gullah Geechee line paired up with Authentically Your Expressions with waist beads. So these waist beads Sharonda created, I've done a whole prayer ceremony over each set of them, and you can purchase them in tandem with one of our tees and then have your own personal waist beads. And again, they're authentically your expressions because they're each one of a kind. Yes. No two are alike. And there are a few people other than myself that already have them, that are working on a special project for the Gullah Geechee Nation right now, that we've sent them out to them. they have already blessed them and everything and They're sent nice. them out. And so these are things that you'll be able to get from Gullah Geechee.biz. And then as authentically your expressions goes ahead and launches the pants and everything else, mm-hmm. you go and get those. And then you can go on and woosah with mm-hmm. we. You see, woosah with we. And then you can also go ahead and connect with our girl, Ketnu, the fur, and then do some yoga and all of that, or with our brother, Kwame Shah, who is also a professional yoga instructor. They've all been on this broadcast. And so we gonna all have to order your pants, then we all going to do some yoga videos so yes. you can post them up on your site. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, wonderful. So I know we have some fans here with us today, Sharonda. Once mm-hmm. again, why don't you give out your website, um, which I know, yes, is AuthenticallyYourExpressions.com for everybody mm-hmm. who's here in the room live with us. It's AuthenticallyYourExpressions.com, yes. but your does not have an S on it. So AuthenticallyYourExpressions.com. Yes. Go right there right now. Buy out the store while we're live on the air. All mm-hmm. right. And if you have any questions for Sharonda, uh, you can go ahead and pop them in the chat right now and we'll make sure that we take a look at those and see if we can get you some answers before the broadcast is over with. But tell me, with your website, just like with, I know if people go to queenquet.com, yes. they can actually sign up and they can follow me so they see updates and things yes. like that. And the same thing with gullahgeechination.com, our blog, yes. where we blogged about your business and we'll continue to post things. People can get updates there. But if they go to authenticallyyourexpressions.com, can yes. they sign up and follow you there too? Absolutely. Please make sure you go. One of the first things that's going to pop up is a newsletter. It's going to ask you to sign up and put your email address in there. Go ahead and sign up. We're developing our newsletter right now. And we also want to make sure we can send you any discounts. You'll be the first one to know when I have some new products come in. You'll be able to purchase them first. So make sure you go ahead, sign up for the newsletter. Find me on Facebook. 
go to Authentically Your Expressions on Facebook. I'm there. Find me on IG. <laughs> Authentically Your Expressions. We're there too. That way you could get be one of the first to know when something is going on. You could. I'm telling you, I could put one little picture on Facebook and they swarm it. So make sure you sign up for the newsletter. Make sure you stay up to date so that you'll know when things are coming in because, I mean, can, can you have enough jewelry? I'm not sure. I don't feel like you have enough. Well, I, I'm not the person <laughs> to ask that question um, since I keep manifesting um, adornments constantly. And I know some of y'all said, well, this is interesting. In the midst of a pandemic, they talking about adorning themselves? Of course, of course. Because as we said, if you want to uh, express yourself authentically, this should have who I be whether the pandemic did or not. And then like that, I like forget dress up. I like my earring and thing like that, my jewelry and all that kind of thing. I ain't just do this year dry long. So I ain't doing for Hannah Jill, not doing for me, you know? And so, so I can be who I feel this is the best version of, you see? So that I can bring positivity out into the world because it's emitting from within, but it shows on the external too, with how you carry yourself, how you put yourself together, as we might say, you see? And so it's really wonderful to know that you're doing this and that you're doing so well in the midst of all of what's going on in the world, that people are going ahead and swarming in and grabbing up things as soon as they see a beautiful picture. Yes. Again, they could see it. We're back there again, right? You know, it's visual, right? They visual. could see it. Yeah. So now, what else do you have in terms of your books? That was something I touched on. I mentioned it, but we didn't get to dialogue about it. What about your books? Are your books available at your website as well, or how can they get them? I have not placed them on my website yet. That is one of the things I'm working on now. But um, you could go to Amazon. And when you type in my name, Sharonda Barksdale, you'll be able to find every book that I've ever published on Amazon. Um, those books, they're like my humble beginnings of authenticity and talking about being your truest self. All of my books, to, to some degree, are going to lead you in that direction. The Path to Your Path is one of my longest books that I've written that kind of talks about gratitude and love and peace and things like that. Those particular, that particular book is gonna take you on a journey on your path to getting to where you wanna be. Absolutely, and that's so critical because sometimes people, especially in Christianity, we feel like the only book that will help us get us to the path we wanna be is the Bible. But theologians use the Bible, a whole lot of other religious texts, They've studied them, and they often now have things out here that are inspirational materials. And so I think that it's wonderful <clears throat> that you have a wide array of materials for people to access. And so y'all make sure that you go to Amazon, look for Sharonda Barksdale, and purchase her books there, and then go to authenticallyyourexpressions.com and make sure to sign up for her newsletter. And I'm sure in the newsletter, as soon as the books are launched on the website, you'll see them there. And you might be lucky like me to get a coupon that lets you get a little discount, you know, when you purchase directly from her. And so definitely this being Black Business Month, and, you know, all year we support that, right? But definitely August is Black Business Month. So, of course, we wanted to conclude the month supporting yet another Gullah Geechee-owned and operated business. So, definitely, I encourage all of you who are watching this show, even if you've seen it after August is over, to go to AuthenticallyYourExpressions.com. And if you want a life coach, go there and support, set up sessions, have your little consultations done, and then sign up because I know Sharonda also does different webinars from time to time. Sign up there so that you can get the newsletter so you'll know when those are happening and also get the things that you might need that might inspire you to love yourself more, to be more bold, to have more healing and health, to bring in more spiritual wealth, physical wealth, financial wealth and abundance, and definitely for more healing in all of our lives, because that is so critical right now, not just because it's a pandemic, but because of the age we are in, the era that we are in, the time that we are in. It is essential that we begin to express ourselves through positivity, through upliftment, and on a journey to be authentic, 
And so it's so important that we have things like this to adorn ourselves with, but to also ingest by reading, by also speaking out then these words that come to us. So I encourage you to get the books, read the books, even start up some, some of your own Zoom sessions or socially distant circles where you might gather some other folks together, read the books, and then have dialogues and discussions about them and encourage each other to have vision, all right? And then write the vision and make it plain. And if you feel like you still aren't there yet, well, what your vision is, then it might be good to have somebody not only coach you from the sidelines, but make sure to get you fitted for the game so that you can win when you get on the field. And you definitely want to have somebody to hold you accountable because even when you start achieving some of the things that might be on your vision board, you don't realize there's more to maintaining those things especially if you start putting a lot of physical things on there, like a house and a car and a family, you have to maintain all of those things, especially maintaining relationships. So again, having a life coach can help you be accountable to doing that. But reading some of these books about Sharonda's journey will help you see how she's come along in these steps and gotten to this point now and is living her authentic life. I'm living my best life. I ain't going back and forth with you. Yeah, that's another set of Gullah Geechee people. So yeah, I'm going to rock that song. I'm going to rock that song. Do I'm going to rock that to. song. Yeah. <laughs> so definitely. So Sharonda, any other kind of final words when you want to talk to the audience just about being authentic and what it is? And I see that you got a fan here because someone just wrote, she is good at what she does. And she put <laughs> hearts up there. So I know that that's a great thing. Um, and we have some more fans. We have our representative, uh, Glenda Simmons Jenkins in the building with us, you know, just folks hailing us and saying hi. We didn't get to any questions here, but we definitely got, we got cheered on. Ain't that nice? You know, the, the coach are getting cheered on today. On right? Yes, and as the former pep squad leader, you know, I'm all about cheering my folks yeah. on for the winning team. Yes. So yeah, do you have any final things, final words you want to share with the audience about living authentically? Well, I always want to encourage everyone to find your truth. Whatever is most authentic to you, whatever feels right to you, live that out to the fullest, especially when it comes to relationships, when it comes to love, when it comes to work, the things that are you feel like you're having the most strife in, there's usually some form of I'm not living who I am in this space, so therefore there's conflict there. I like to encourage people to really take a close look to that, into that space. Is this really what you want? Is this really what you want to be doing? Are you feeling like you can express yourself the way that you want to in this space? If not, start. that's where the work begins. Let's start looking at where we can express ourselves to our truest and our highest self, and then we can heal that space so that you can feel freer. You know, being closed in with um, coronavirus, everybody's quarantined in, we're realizing the person that we're closed in with, we may not like them very much, and but we didn't know that because we were going through the hustle and bustle. We we're taking the kids to their soccer practice and their football practice. Everybody was running and, and doing, stuck in traffic, but now we're kind of stuck in the house with one another, and we're realizing yeah, that's not quite who I am. This isn't really what I thought I was going to be doing. And that's okay. And so reach out to me, go to my website. I do free consultations. We can sit down, talk about it, create a vision and start working towards getting you more aligned with who you really are. Because when you're more aligned with your truest self, you have the fullest life. You have a happier life. You have a more peaceful life. You have a more joyful life. So I encourage you to be, you know, express yourself authentically. Yes, absolutely. I agree. So y'all know, once again, go to authenticallyyourexpressions.com. And also, Sharonda, I think it's important when you said the person that you might be quarantined with, you don't like very much. And some people, that's themselves. That's themselves. That's a day lot. They on that day lot. So me, myself and I, yeah. it's just me, myself and I. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, it's you that you don't really like all the people you were hating on all the people you were bullying on cyberspace and bullying in real life mm -hmm. it's not them that got the attitude problem mm -hmm. it's yes. you and so sometimes again we got to review ourselves 
Yes. And I believe that's the scariest part for most human beings yes. is looking internally. Mm -hmm. It's easy to look out, but that's why scriptures talk about the fact that you over here, as it says in, in what they call the Gullah Bible, but that thing really in Geechee, y'all, mm -hmm. uh, that they say, Hold on, I got one telegram pole saying, hold on, I, but you don't worry about the split in the next person's an eye. So yeah. you got a big old pole coming out your eye, but you think somebody splinter is the problem. Yeah. No, That's you got to do what we say, clean up on a doorstep fuss. Okay, yes. I can't leave my house all toe up, but then go over to Sharonda house and tell her how to clean her house up. Yes. I need to stay home, clean up my house, okay, put everything in order, and then maybe I could go over and work with Sharonda yes. with her house in order. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so that's the thing is so much of the world has been projected outward when mm -hmm. really scriptures and God wants us to project inward. That's right. Uh, heaven and hell is within you. Within. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes, heaven and hell is within you. So you yeah. got to go in. We got to do introspection. We got to do this writing. We got to get vision coming outward. Absolutely. And so definitely, Sharonda, any goodies for the audience? Anything coming up soon that I done told them now they better go on and sign up for that newsletter so they know what's mm -hmm. happening. But any yeah. good stuff? I heard you talk about some shipments are coming in and yes. some other stuff. Any other goodies the audience might want to be ready to be prepared for? Yes, I have a lot more beautiful jewelry. I have some sitting here waiting to get me, I'm gonna take some pictures and put them up. And I'm only going to let those who have signed up for the newsletter to get the first peep you get a little peek of what's coming in um, today, as well as we have a promo code. So if you want to go order something, we got a promo code. It is AYE new N E W 2020. And you will get free shipping for anything that you're ordering right now. So make sure you go to the website, sign up for that newsletter, do your shopping. I saw Carrie is in here. Carrie is one of my clients. I'm so thankful. Thank you, Carrie, for being here to support me. And of course, the women of Gulgichi Nation, y'all have always been supportive of the process. So I thank you so very much. Thank you. Well, honey, the blessing to all of we and thing like that. And honey, and slick neither, like I tell them, turn. I knew 2020. Heck, y'all ain't slick, y'all. A cranky teeth and gullah geechy, but they try to chew on me like it ain't business. I knew. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. I see you. You funny. I see you. All right. So, yes, when I, when I made my order, I said, Oh, you slick. You saw that? I said, That thing, Geechee, done. I'm talking about, I knew. I knew. <laughs> <laughs> but this is just how we do, y'all. We definitely yes. live authentically. This is just this y'all just the who we be. This is and so for do. all the family with there, we live today. We want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Sharonda. It's such a blessing mm -hmm. to have you here on zooming in on sustainability. I'm so happy that we have had this opportunity to really talk about living authentically. Yes. You know, folks always see us together and they go, they wow, y'all got your own style. Oh, y'all mm -hmm. this. And we're like, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and we love it. And we love being around folks that have their own style. And so yes. that then shows you that you are with people who are living yes. authentically. Authentically. And, yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And there's so much joy in that just in and it of is. itself. It is a blessing. So much love to you and much the family and much love to all the Hunter Chillin at a Yeti this year. One more again, y'all will be able to see the show again on Gullah Geechee TV. Follow Gullah Geechee dot tv go and subscribe for free but yes. also follow gullah geechee nation dot com yes. you'll also be able to see it there on our blog and you'll know about the other episodes that are coming up and what we'll be zooming in on next and yes. if you want to follow me go to queenquet.com you can always reach out to me there and you can also make sure to always support gullah geechee dot biz and authentically your expression.com all black owned all Gullah Geechee owned Gullah Geechee. all authentically <laughs> yeah. proudly who we be who we be we be Gullah, Gullah Geechee anointed people yes so peace blessings and love to everybody and peace once and again blessings.
we are sending out so much positive energy, yes. healing energy yes. that God holds back the storms and blesses all the families right now right that's in harm's way and get to high ground above the waters that are rising and let us all the positive, righteous people of the world yes. raise the positive energy yes. all over this sphere so that we can also heal the earth. And the more that we authentically love, the more that that love comes back to comes us. Back That's to the us. seed we want to plant. That's the harvest we want, like in Galatians, the fruit of the spirit we want to yes. harvest. And we want that to be what our children of the next generation eat from. But the Absolutely. only way they'll know to do it is if they see you, you see living that life, you have to live authentically if you want your children to live authentically too. So first, take a look internally at you and yes. then see what work gonna have to do because definitely it's gonna be all up to you. Absolutely. But keep on y'all, keep being blessed, keep staying healthy and live authentically. Peace and blessings, everybody. Yes, this year, the Queen Quet, head upon the body of the Gullah Geechee Nation, sending her love, peace, safety, health, and abundance. Abundance. Peace. Peace.